not burning sand between the toes, smelling like campfire on your clothing, having marshmallows by the campfire. The number one thing to feel like you're living your summer this year is to reconnect with your inner child. Try to understand what does she or he needs. A bit exhausted because you had so much fun, because you laughed so hard and you ate good food. This is really what we're trying to bring back here. So we made it to the camping spot and it's currently raining, but we're kind of hoping that the rain will go away in the next hour or else we're kind of screwed. You guys, I have to tell you, I'll be vlogging for a little yeah. trip. Oh my God, I am so not dressed for any content, but I um, got final approval. Yes. I'm the only person in this one pack camping wearing high heels and a dress. She did not lie. Camping was not very heels friendly. Just girly tents. No man's left behind. Maybe you're left behind. And on our way to the beach, we got caught under the rain because, of course, we cannot go on vacation in Quebec and not expect to have a shit ton of rain. So it was still fun. The sun was finally coming out after 45 minutes, and we made our way back to the beach. Let's get in the way. They say what they're gonna say. Have a drink, drink, find a bad life. Bad bitches love me. How they come back? <laughs> Then we finally made our way down to the beach. I was very happy because it even looked better than on the pictures. And maybe for some of you who lives in beautiful countries, that, that landscape is not impressive. But for us, city girls in Montreal, that was beautiful. It was pure. It was ethereal. And, bonus, we had a freaking trampoline. When we arrived, the kids left because it was too dangerous for them. They declared adult time, expecting us to stay for like two minutes and then get tired. I sat there for 45 minutes. So after my full body workout on the trampoline, I had some wine and prepped some Greek salad for dinner. And then I kissed my husband goodbye because he didn't want to stay camping with us. And, and he left and I didn't know what to do because I love him so much. Leaving, Alex. Have a, have a... So then he left and I ended up eating my emotions, but that was the most satisfying hot dog I ever had. It was the best hot dog in the history of hot dogs. That was heaven sent. That was the living proof that this life is worth living. It really feels like going down memory lane to come in a little camping site like that. It's just, it reminds me of my childhood truly and it feels good. Really good and world less because we have bathrooms. It's a luxury in camping. So, after all those delicious hot dogs, Veronica and I went for a little walk and we came back to the beach for sunset. Back at the beach, just Veronica and I, she's going for a little dip. I already had my little dip and I don't want to catch a cold tonight because it's going to be 14 degrees. The spooky story tonight is that we're just trying to hang out by the campfire, but it started raining again. Mother Nature, stop. Rise and shine, bitches. I obviously woke up at 7 a.m. and I woke everyone around me that were just trying to sleep because we slept in a tent. Honestly, if it was the apocalypse... So then after breakfast, I had my vitamins and we eventually headed back to Montreal because it started raining. That's a wrap for my first time going back camping in 10 years. I'm very grateful that my friends were able to make it with me. Even though it was cold and rainy, we still made it. Then I had a moment by the window where I just reflect on my existence. 
So that's it for today, y'all. Thank you for tagging along for that little get together out of the city. Feel free to follow me on my Instagram at ngodcreatedwoman. See you soon. Bye.